Hello and welcome. I'm Ashwin Ahmed and I am in conversation with Shehan Seema Singhe, Minister of Loans, Development and Banking. Sir, welcome. First of all, you mentioned coronavirus and that is something we're very interested in, specifically from the point of view of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is a tourism dependent economy. I mean, this kind of thing, a coronavirus must be, I mean, the worst nightmare, especially for Sri Lanka. So, A, how is your country handling that and what impact will it have on its economy? Well, yeah, as you say, we are uh, dependent on agriculture as well as tourism. From a country's perspective, we are very confident that we have taken all measures to stop the virus spreading and we, have, uh, we had only one case reported, a Chinese tourist, but uh, she's cured and gone back to the country. I think this, is, this will not be the only challenge what we will have to face. There will be plenty of challenges like this coming up. But uh, from a region's point, uh, it is very important that all the countries within the region being together, discussing challenges and how we uh, walk forward. So I think uh, from the economy's point, uh, such challenges will have a, a bad impact. But all countries will, will uh, be able to get over it. So I think in Sri Lanka, we have gone through many stages like this. At one time, the civil war, which, was, uh, which had impact in Sri Lankan economy. And then uh, we had to overcome it uh, after 30 years of uh, fighting. Uh, we have uh, overcome the issues quite well. Uh, and we are also in the right direction. We have got a new president in Sri Lanka. Yes. And uh, we are getting ready for our general election. So, once the new parliament is established, when people elect their representatives by, uh, by end of April, I think Sri Lanka will have a smoother sailing and we are ready to face all challenges. We are organized. Uh, the reason why we, I say like that is, uh, back in 2015, we had a uh, setback and then we have uh, gained power back. Yes. Uh, at, the, at the time, we lost, we discussed uh, the challenges we had and how we should change and go forward. So we are, we are a changed uh, government and people have accepted it and we will walk along with people. Sir, I want to come now a little bit to India, Sri Lanka and the region. I mean, as a country, you enjoy very strong ties both with India and with China as well. But at the same time, doesn't Sri Lanka get a little bit uh, frustrated by, you know, the geopolitical scenario, I mean, especially on Hamman, Tota, etc. So how does your uh, government see this and, you know, uh, what are the steps that it's taking forward? Well, uh, both uh, President Rajapaksa as well as Prime Minister Rajapaksa, our policy is very, uh, we are very straight that we will have a neutral stance among all countries. Also, at the same time, we are a government which will have a policy where we will not sell our national assets. Yes. So, we, will, we are a government which has taken over national assets, which have been uh, so, uh, given out to other countries uh, by previous regimes. So, our stance will remain the same. But at the same time, we will not get involved in geopolitical uh, issues which will crop up. We will remain independent. Of course, when it comes to India, India is our big brother, we will respect and we will always support India and India has supported us. At the same time, we will continue ties with uh, China. So, neither China nor India should uh, worry about any of the developments taking place in, in, in Sri Lanka. And we are a country uh, with our new government. We have more faith in foreign direct investments rather than going in for loans either locally as well as foreign we will have faith on getting more investments to Sri Lanka so I think both India and China will have an equal opportunity there and we hope uh, uh, both the countries will help us. Sir you talked about India and China but I want to ask you now with this coronavirus uh, China's economy has fallen there is impact all over the globe uh, I think it's its lowest uh, GDP rate ever. Uh, so how much, sir, will that have a, an effect on Sri Lanka? Because you do have strong trade ties with China. 
uh when it comes to tourism india has been uh, the number one tourist arrival destination yes. for a couple of years for a couple of years so that itself will continue i'm very sh- uh, confident on that also the corona virus uh, of course it is uh, yeah. so it is now global it is not only limited to china or to any other single country now it is global so all countries within the world are vigilant on the issue uh, precautions they have to take so i'm very confident that we will have we will overcome this uh, corona virus because uh, previously also there had been uh, similar viruses spreading around the world so all countries will take necessary steps and have taken steps and uh, we are very confident that we will overcome in the meantime uh, as a tourist destination we have faith in india because indian tourists have uh, contributed to our economy and uh, you know it is the closest uh, destination to india also we offer variety yes if you take uh, different parts of india would expect uh, different uh, tourist attractions so sri lanka is one country that could offer all attractions within within one land so india uh, for indians uh, sri lanka has been a hot uh, tourist destination also in term of tourism we will rebrand and we will have more uh, pu- more publicity given as a destination so our aim especially his excellency the president has more faith in tourism and we will uh, Uh, invest develop infrastructure in term of tourism you can be we can be happy because the the highways are coming up yeah. and the in uh, outer circular roads are being done yeah. so in term of uh, time consumption we will have more attraction uh, for tourists to come to sri lanka and india uh, will always play a very vital role in term of tourist arrivals to sri lanka So finally what more would you like to see from the government of India what would Sri Lanka like to take forward with the government Well uh, we will always uh, work very closely with the Indian government we know uh, both countries are very concerned about national security so whatever the decision taken by either countries will have a impact on national security of either countries so we will uh, cooperate well and we will always have close ties with India and uh, if you see uh, the president after getting elected to office just one i want to ask you about radical terrorism is a concern for both of you what are the steps you're taking well uh, the reason why president uh, gotabaya rajapaksa was elected was uh, to ensure uh, national security in sri lanka yes. we saw during the last regime there was a lapse of national security so uh, uh, people Uh, in sri lanka as well as the regional countries can have faith on us because we will give our utmost priority to protect national security not only in sri lanka but uh, to uh, protect the rest of the countries in the region so india will will play a major role and we will always uh, have close ties with india thank you so much sir for your views i'm ashwin amit thank you for watching